four and a half thousand pounds doing people's gardens four and a half grand the cost of them plants she gave a cost of each one from the garden centre I always pay through bloody nose I've grown all my seedlings off eBay one ninety nine two forty nine one forty nine I'm watching this gardener thing. I've been in the backyard for long enough. I actually got sunburnt feet the other day. They're in like hell in bed at 5 a.m. Who pays for it? Is it all? It's not BBC, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, BBC, so that's where your money's going. Four and a half grand. Well, the stones will have cost a bit. Yeah, when I mention all that gardening, no one's commented on the gardening or hoping for some advice. Are them purple roses doomed to die, do you think? Four for a tenner. The Dury from Bolton. Three have still no signs alive. One has got some little shoots on with green fly on, just squirted them. And I'm going to plant the last of my dahlias, but it's a bit late now, I'll pass four. But four and a half grand, you can do it on a budget. The, that water feature, mine, the, the plastic half barrel was £12 from a local shop. The original factory shop, have you got them in your area, top? The pump was uh, about 15 quid. I just gave my brother my spare one from my abandoned waterfall. And the big plastic hand pump thing was about 20 quid from eBay. But my subject today, do we go a bit mad on eBay? Do you get carried away like I have? Because I've been stuck at home. Gone a bit stir crazy. Very few visitors. So-called biker pals. Although Adam from Bolton, my mate, uh, with a bicycle and wild camping, and he's got a triumph. He said he'd come over if he can. And Adam, I was going to suggest, come in your car, please. Or I was going to suggest that, put your bike in the back. We'll go for a ride, but with the, with the way I am, it's going to be another couple of weeks at least before I can get around. I just had that terrible pain then. I left me stick in the kitchen. I fed the cats. It's nearly tea time. And I was just not going to be able to manage it. I sat on the bike last night. I've lowered the saddle. Rather than throw my leg over, I've just arranged it so I can slip off the bike safely in an emergency, let the bike drop on the grass, the side of the white path. So yeah, if Adam comes over, pedal down to the old railway, do a vlog, we're in this helmet. I'm going to attach an helmet to that, but uh, a helmet, a camera to that. A silver one, but you know, where would I put the mic? Are we going to just shout so you can see that heart slip off the back? Can you see I've done the little tail piece to stop it splattering up? She worked for stainless steel air core nuts and a big sixpence size. Uh, short ball with a big nut on and the uh, front one a bit annoying it's sticking out but plastic bolts for less weight and that's down here which will stop splatter going on going up there in your face if you go through a dog turd uh. Ouch. oh yeah appointments uh, 15th, 
CT scan to check there's nothing remaining of the cancer. And that is my Hornet's tax. You can do it online. I thought, oh, good. Can't proceed with no MOT. I thought, what? So I checked my documents. You know, when the Hornet's MOT expired, 11th of May. So I rung Yule's bike shop up this afternoon and a lad answered. I said, uh, has that part come from the Piaggio? Adam promised it'll be fitted. Uh, not yet. It's normally three to six, maybe eight weeks. I said, oh, fine. And I'd like to arrange MOT for the Hornet. I don't think I'll be able to ride either bike in. My brother's off it, but I'm not sure. He'd be capable, but I don't, I don't know. I said, well, could you ask for an estimate of getting the van to come and collect both bikes, fit the part for the Piaggio, MOT the Hornet, maybe fit the new regulator rectifier from M&P, or, like I said, that I was thinking of saying, you give me a price for that Hornet. Because I thought it'd be good to go to one bike, i.e. the scooter, and have a change. You know, that Hornet's always been a big, heavy lump, and I'm not into speed. We are in time. We should all slow down anyway. I watched in Derek Brown, latest video on a tootle in the countryside, lovely views. Risk of animals dashing out from the hedge rows. And two blokes were chair ice enough. I said, Do you not tell them to slow down? Same up in lakes with you know who and you know her. And the two silly bloody crannies pals were chair, they didn't like me going so slow. So they tore ahead on the huge bikes, one to do catchy, one to. Pan European, I think, two ice in the head, down a little narrow lane. I thought we were going to go on the A road, safe, going to the narrow lane, going round bends like that where there's gravel and shite. And I should have stayed back, but the shakes of it. But why go fast? Oh, you have to go fast when you're on bike. Oh, you go fast. Oh. If someone's Riding dangerously, telling to sod off, slow down. I know I'm not one to talk after my last accident with Mr. Bannister. But we need to slow down, so that horn at 145 miles an hour. And if I did get a second bike, because that scooter will last winter, to all the plastic. I fancy uh, there's a Benelli, although someone said, no, they made in India, the shit. A Benelli 500, I'm not sure of the model, but it's, <coughs> it's a big V, it's a big twin engine, a saddle on its own, and then when you number play a big gap, you know, and a spoiler thing on. Beautiful at Dixon's in Accrington. I've been going to Dixon since, well, since I started to wear bikes. You know, when I started to wear bikes, it's the anniversary this month, 40 years on June the 19th, 40 years of motorbiking, when I first got my 125 learning. It was on a pub trail, and I used to go up in the window, come on, we're going to the pub, let's just have a look at these bikes. That. CM125 Custom, CM200, I could pass my test on that and then get the 200. But I like that stupid dream, it's the it's same engine as the CM. Lovely metallic red, 899 quid, Ken Martin, he was a racer on little bikes, Ken Martin for Honda. Yeah, so it's 40 years, I'll have to do a special video. I weren't going to do any more videos, but I'll watch it. What's on the garden? Is it finished? I want you some advice of Charlie Dimmock. Yeah, don't spend four and a half grand on a bleeding garden, eh, eh? Get your seeds off eBay, yeah. 
Like Steve has. He's going to have a garden full of lovely flowers for less tenor. Tenor seeds, two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty. All them flowers for twenty quid. <coughs> and I've got some cat mint that were only two pound odd cat. Nip because it's meant to make cats. Treat for cats, but that's fail. I think the little crops failed in my planters. But eBay, yeah, I've been buying stuff off eBay. Decorative stuff for the house. <coughs> and my mum were grabbing one of them. Like, yeah, you're going crazy. Why are you buying all more horse brushes? Yeah, I said, no, I'm filling that fireplace up. I stopped when I was skint and I've been filling the fireplace up and making it look what I like, what I like is nice them tankards, do you think they look nice? Yeah, well, charity shops as well, I mean, before, how do we make before eBay? we went to charity shops and scoured around but eBay it's all learned when you buy something it looks into your history and put something else up similar and you end up buying that or I do. If it's nice, if it's crap, I don't. Let me, well, I think she's got dementia, a starting with dementia, they focus on negativity. When I got them, I have to tank as looked on eBay, tankers were expensive. And when I, uh, Looked in a charity shop, that pair of tankers were there, can you see? Medieval bar scene, well made, solid, very heavy, how much? Sticker on, it's run by a little old lady, I shouldn't tell you that, I've got some right bones. Two pounds, two pounds. Hello again love, have you seen something you like? Yeah, them tankers. I do plastic, plastic, I don't know, the, the metal. Can I pick them up? Yeah. I said two quid, yeah. I said I'll give you a tenner for both of you, it's for charity. Oh, them. Fiver, I think they were. They're silver plated, but they get discoloured, aren't they? Three of them. I said three. Three's a funny number. <laughs> and they fit. Little Yankee candle samples in that are one pound fifty from that local cheaty fit perfect. Yankee candles are only one you can guarantee. You know, it smell properly nice. So not a Phoebe, that's a charity shop. That's an eBay buy. How much? 15 quid. Jason, 1796. Of course, that's not genuine. That's cast iron. That's brass. Weighs a ton, of about three pounds. 15 quid. Plus for a fiver. Don't catch with me mums. What were you doing with them when she moved out at Christmas? I was going to take them all to the charity shop. I said, no, I'll have the cats. You know, I love cats. Is the room your old stuff? I said yes. Another one, that was dearer. What say I how much? Brass wheels, brass barrel. Proper little ship's gun carriage. My brother said it should have little strings on it to look like ropes. I said no. Some do. Dennett's met one, and Dennett's is a Spanish company. They make these cheap repro rifles and pistols and they have a distributor in uh, North Yorkshire we had a Denix have a look and sell all sorts of little cannon swords of no interest in swords uh, pirate pistols because I like Johnny Depp and Pirates of the Caribbean not so much the later films that octopus it gives me the creeps what's all that about couldn't watch it. But yeah, I thought I'd get a couple of pirate style pistols, although pirates were probably flintlock. 
when did pirates fizzle out? It was the 1600s into the 1700s and the Royal British Navy was clamping down on them and killed all the pirates off. But that's meant to be a pirate's blunderbuss. <coughs> the cushion cap. Not a real barrel, of course. In no way they're going to fire. Stand and deliver! Well, so there we are. That wasn't eBay, that was uh, me having a look on Denix's Yorkshire shop. And there's uh, an 1840 pepper box, six barrel pepper box. That doesn't do anything. 1840, just a repro. Of course, real ones sell. There's a website called Gun Store online and you can buy real flintlocks, but of course, they're all 1,000, 2,000, even 18,000 when they're superb in a box. So, yeah, buying stuff. They're off eBay, they're off pianos in the olden days, pianos. Uh, the sheet music would be lit by candles like that, which is swiveling in front of the sheet music. Put a candle in, light it, and merrily plonk away. <laughs> so yeah, eBay stuff. Another pair there. Eh? And another pair of them I got from Blackpool last year. This is a different mate than Denix. But you can see the flintlocks are just blobs. And that's some more candle things for sheet music. And they're nice, aren't they? That's what I got from uh, Chipping Steam last year. I missed Chipping Steam. But it was getting a bit samey. Uh, see, have you been watching TT? I didn't think Mr. McGuinness would be racing this year at his age. You need your reflexes, don't you? You know, it should be safe. But more eBay. Oh, a charity shop. I think that were a fiver. Years ago, Pussycat um, Tiffany Glass style. My light fused and popped the other day. It's always been dodgy. So that were on eBay. Push it, push it out, another push it out. Quite dear. So that's there now. Sort of matching style of that. And BSA things, eBay, China. Also got Triumph and a Norton one. I'm not sure of that. Just flick it on. Yeah, I could see if Mr. Yules wants to try him for <laughs> And knocks him out of the bill. See, Norton. 14.99, I got them years ago. I saw him in, uh, it's that hole up in Cumbria, I went to. Maybe I'm the plug scan here. <coughs> where is yeah, where is it? Oh, there, on the left. Yeah, where is it? What's happened here? Oh, let's see, it's blown. That is a bit. That light's come on, so it's socket, it's all right. Mm. 
you rest in? Where the old duck come from? You rest in. I used to put the rest in you in for some else, I must have. a USB plug. I've got one here. Oh, I think it's in here. I tried to uh, push back lights up last night. No, that's, it is a USB, but it's not an unpluggable one. Uh, can't be a demo. If I use that one. Turn out your breath now. You must be, yes. Hang on. No, no. It's not a USB, it's not a USB. No weird. Let's have something else on the USB. No. See, I got one from that <coughs> classic car. And then two for me, there. No, that's not the USB. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah, replace this once a week. Not every day, I like mean, relative thing. Ooh, that litter, it's all right, it's all right. It's dear. Can't afford to keep throwing it away. You <coughs> must be. Sorry, is that too dark to see? Still light today. Where's the torch? That's from that cat. The box from the cat. That's why we're knackered. Putting the top thing on there. That look nice. Shark's rifle where it should be. Top rail there with two in the middle. More candle things. More horse brushes. Nice candle sticks. All for me, there. The clock's from me, brother. Who's the clock? Yeah, cheers. That's me document trip by. And me will. <laughs> Mum said, Where is you? Have you done a will? I said, Yeah, don't worry. It's with me bike documents in the Dunlop bag. She weren't being unthoughtful, it's just being practical. I said, I know, I know. If they find some and I don't make it, I said, My brother can have this house. Decide whether he's keeping all junk. 
him and his wife uh, rent, you see, and he, his wife's in a bad way. She had a similar operation to me, so stir lift her ready. So they're welcome. I've got a torch, I had a torch there. I always keep a torch in the dry room. My mum kept tripping up when I first got the black hearth rug. And I said, I'll get some other colours. So I got some grey fluffy rug, put them on the top. She still trips up. So I said, no, no, it's grey. Silly moo. Uh, shouldn't be talking grim and negative. Should I? That's what uh, they're for. Ready for me funeral. <laughs> you see, little creepy skeletons. Where from? Charity shop. Three quid each. Anyway, let's have a look at them seedlings and my little green outside here. So there we are, that's the gist of this. I want to keep busy, you see, doing stuff. Ebay, spending too much, that's good, works, Sonic Cleaner, from Germany, made in China, but from a German shop, I thought, yeah, I'll order from a German shop, they don't sell shite, do they? And it works, that's a cat uh, mint, catnip, some are growing, some aren't, give it a bit more time. That's meant to be another 50 dahlias. Two have sprouted. Why? When the others are thriving. So tomorrow when I do a big uh, transplant, I'll dig them two out and scrap the rest. We'll probably start bloody growing then. Alright, Ginger. Are you having more of your tea? Come on, don't leave it, good boy. So let flies go on. Good boy. We need some dreamies, don't we? Oh. They're both living outside during the heat wave, unless I think they creep, well, they do, they're creeping at night. Cause when I give them the supper, midnight, will be in for that, they're enjoying living outside in the sunshine, plus I've got a fluffy bed in the bike shelter. Now what's this, I got these two frames ages ago, not realising they were slightly different or I forgot. That's annoying, I spoiled the hardboard, which what I was going to do. I was going to put cat pictures in, a picture of Bobby, a picture of Ginger, sat up. Pay, you pay about tenner from uh, Max Spielman for a big print. Never got round to it. And I watched Drew Pritchard, a big fan of uh, Drew Pritchard, antiques, salvage hunters, and I like bangers and cash, even though no interest in cars per se, but I do like classic cars and occasionally has a nice bike on them. And I thought, yeah, and he, he pays a fortune for signs and on eBay, they burn by laser, MDF. I thought, yeah. And you know what it spells? What's my interest in? So, it's a, oh, it's, a, it's meant to be Art Deco style from the 30s. What's that on the scissors? And I was going to stain a piece of wood, but I thought, no, this looks sort of alright on its own, just varnishing. So, I've got two lots to see because there's two frames.
Said you know a race to delicious area. As if it's on a railway station. But the chap who was selling these on eBay didn't have the arrow. I said, Oh, I can uh, make an arrow on my laser cutter. Leave it to me. And he's come with this big chunky thing instead of a stylized one. Although it has a certain charm, not very elegant, but you know what I mean. And I'm going to scrap the glass, but I might keep the glass, just varnish it. Or even leave it like that, I'll have to space the letters out. Well, that were a pain, spacing the bloody brass things on the clock. So when I do that bog one, and I've got more energy, you have to do your sums and leave 15 mil gap or 10 mil. Just an idea. It slightly spoilt it though, because of that. But that might add to the rustic charm. It's meant to look like something from the 30s, isn't it? You know, that's the Art Deco style, 30s, which I love. That's why I said in Stanley Park Blackpool, there's a gorgeous cafe inside and outside, preserved Art Deco with brass lights, original brass lights, outside and inside. I did a video there having a Class of Carlsberg, and I'm running my finger down like Ice Cold in Alex, like John Mills did. <laughs> yeah, right, Bobby? Yeah, I've got my helmet on, are you frightened? See, can you see? That's all the other six were. Eh? They're ready to plant into them two planches. Two giant ones. I'll decide. I might put them in the chimney pots yet. I'll leave them there. You see them, aren't they? In the sun, just to get a bit bigger. Oops. Ah. Ah, yeah. <coughs> So, no signs of life, thriving, thriving, no signs of life, thriving, I put slug pellets in because they're being eaten, slugs love young dahlias, and no signs of life. I thought I'd put in a couple of dahlias in here, but I'll wait till they actually die, and if you definitely do, get deceased or diseased and deceased I'll just get some good old fuchsias had fuchsias dangling down and they're only a pound for a pot so four of them in there four quid will have some lovely fuchsias instead of a bloody dead rose bush in fact I might get four fuchsias anyway although I've not found out yet about my pay when you add up £750 not paid this month, £750 not paid next month, £1,500, that pushback was 200 so it's like seven pushbacks, me buying them and then giving them away free. Can't write off one and a half grand, so we'll see what happens. The boss said he'd get back to me. So I'll ask tomorrow. When the person who's penalised me has come back from holiday, apparently. Probably a very luxurious, exotic one. It was my holiday. It's a nice day out in Blackpool paddling and buying stuff from gift shops like flintlock replicas like I did last summer. There's two shops in Blackpool. Brooks Collectibles used to do it. And they said, no, there's a couple of rivals. I've decided not to sell Denix anymore. Oh, I said, that's a pity. They only do a couple. Uh, the Brooks Collectibles is here. 
Yeah, this is all Dutch and Irish pubs here. McDonald's is here. The shop with flintlocks and that shell I got, which is actually a thermos flask, is here. If you're interested. The second shop is called Fantastic Gifts, which is down south here, opposite South Pier. Next to it is Pablo's Ice Cream. Next to that is that shop where I get me big clothes from. Mr. Fat Bastard, well, Mr. Thin Bastard now. Uh, the Beach Market. I got another jumper delivered this morning. This is from uh, Atlas for Men. The reason I got it, you see, nice knitted chest pocket with me mobile in. Mum said, I've been trying to phone you. I said, oh, come down. No, if you don't want to, it'll save me coming down. Well, all I want is a planter, there's a nice square planter for here in that Toff's shop, the original factory shop. A bag of soil, it's that I had a planter, about level with that, which would be perfect for here. I'm going to use this mop bucket, but a bit crap in it. I could do, because the planter's 20 quid. I'll choose a mop bucket, just tidy it up. What for? Strawberries. On eBay again, one's two forty nine, one's one ninety nine. Strawberries the size of your hand if they grow. Pack one is red. Put some canes up. Strawberry just, just strawberries climb it, showing them on a vine. The other ones, believe it or not, that sort of blue. Like my hornet, like that brush, like that cat bed. Blue, like that. Blue, have you ever heard the like? Blue strawberries on eBay, I couldn't believe it. When I bought the cheaper red ones, same size as well. If they grow, I'll eat one, because I like strawberries and cream. If they die, they die. So there we are, cheap stuff. Charlie Dimmitt spent four and a half grand. My four rows is lovely purple ones. One's growing. If just one grows, it's worth it. If these grow, cascades of lovely purple roses here for a tenner. Charlie Dimmitt at BBC, four and a half grand. Stuff that. Russia's flowers. All thriving, because you get sun here in the morning. And in the evening it goes, well, that gets sun all day on top of there. Plus a little help with miracle grow. You have to be careful not to overfeed them with that. Though. Grows plants twice as big. You know. Well, it's such a forty watering cans, yeah, just a couple of crumbles in a watering can, don't overdo it. So that's it, yeah, gardening. I know it's uh, meant to be bikes. Oh, to show you them little badges I got, I'll include bikes just to satisfy those amongst you who wonder why I've not mentioned bikes apart from the uh, expired tax and MOT. Yeah, that flies on cat food. You shouldn't leave it, should the little suds. I don't know why you swallowed a fly. Perhaps of there. Yeah, a little badge you might not be able to see. Let me see. ST. ST. Tiny little ST badges have arrived and they're on. It's a sports touring, and like I said, can you see? Oh no, I can't get down that low. Sport touring badge, why are they not all over the back end? Three of them. Cool looking badge tucked away. And like I said, that's a mount for the sat there. I should start the hornet every day, because when they come for it, oh, it won't start. We're back on the green light though. That's all right, isn't it? Do you have these furry blankets for your bike? Stop cats going on. 
就那样没有。是这样，搞这样没错。说来看不明白，反正让我一下子。How long is this last? Twenty-five minutes, twenty. Why not into gardening? Why not sit there? Look at some lovely plants. Cheap. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. So I keep in touch, you know, no point not uploading anything, plus like I said, while I've done this, I've not bought Aerosol stuff either, but, uh, bye for now.